More than three weeks after armed militia took over a federal wildlife refuge in Oregon, a deadly shootout between militia members and the police. Yesterday, the FBI, with our partners, took the first steps to bring this occupation to a conclusion. Group leader Ammon Bundy and seven others were arrested Tuesday night after the FBI and Oregon State Police pulled them over on their way to a meeting with community residents. Bundy's brother Ryan was shot and suffered minor wounds, but a spokesman for the armed occupiers, Lavoy Finicum, was killed. It's time for everybody in this illegal occupation to move on. There doesn't have to be bloodshed in our community. Bundy's father says his son called him from the back of a police cruiser moments after the shootout. My son Ryan had been shot in the arm. Uh, Lavoy Finnegan, they cold-blooded killed him. He said he was out, uh, had his hand, hands in the air. He said he wasn't armed. He hadn't, uh, wasn't any threat, and they cold-blooded just killed him. Authorities say Ryan Bundy and Finnegan did not obey orders to surrender, and shots were fired. The armed group took over the refuge on January 2nd, in part to protest the sentencing of two ranchers and to make a stand against what they call government overreach when it comes to federal lands. They continued to ignore us and pushed us to the point where we felt we had to make a stand to defend our rights. Finnecombe previously told reporters he was willing to give his life for the cause. There are things more important than your life, and freedom is one of them. The sheriff says he'd been trying to work with the group to find a peaceful solution, but in the end, he just couldn't meet their ultimatums. We don't arm up and rebel. We work through the appropriate channels. This can't happen anymore. This can't happen in America, and it can't happen in Harney County.